Hi everybody! My name is Shannon. Welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. Wow, we are into December. The year has absolutely flown by. If you've been around for a little bit, you know I'm very confused as to what happened to November. Very, very much so. But November has come and gone. We've all feasted on turkey or whatever you eat on that special Thursday. Uh, yeah, it's been, it's it's gone nuts. My family has their birthdays in November, December, and January. That is where the majority of them are. We just got to celebrate uh, one of our grandsons going from five to six years old. And then this coming week, my husband and oldest granddaughter, yeah, it's the same day, they have their birthdays too. So my husband has requested I work on something. So I was a little bit guilted, not gonna lie. If you've been around for a while, you might recognize said Easter Bunny bag, right? You know, because you know what project I have in said Easter Bunny bag. That's right. It is my granddaughter's sweater. And true to form earlier today, I was scrolling through a lot of comments that I read, but didn't put a little heart by them and didn't actually respond to, right? You know, so going back, rereading them and responded to a lot. Why? Because I was procrastinating working on this. Yeah, I was. And then it dawned on me only because it was actually listed right there and it had the numbers by it. I did a video three months ago and said, hey, what should I work on? My granddaughter's sweater in said bag, uh, a sweater for my sister with angels going up and down the sleeves or the dragon blanket, you know, and, and uh, I realized I haven't finished any of those. I have not finished any of the three items. Now I have worked on all three of them since making that video. I worked on my granddaughter's, granddaughter's sweater. Don't say that three times fast. And you see how I've got the center zip up and it's like the middle of my neck, right? So her sweater, it, you know, I was right here and doing the little raglan sleeves, you know, just like this has. And I got to here where I was supposed to put this, this center piece in. It's not a zip up, but where I was supposed to do this, and I put it like right here, it is off center. So I had to pull it back, and it's color work all over color work. So I had to unknit it as carefully as I knit it, i.e., one stitch at a time. You know, I wasn't comfortable with threading my needle into the row that I needed to be on, and then ripping them all really fast. I was not comfortable. Some people better than me could do that. I had to unknit all the rows that I had one stitch at a time and then I put it back in time out and on my sister's sweater I believe I got a little farther did something equally stupid and uh, had to pull things back I did start working on the dragon blanket and I got like little nubs of wings I, I need to do the wings and then assemble everything that's where I'm at with that one so I, I did in that three month time period I worked on each one of them, did a the little bit, and had setbacks on all of them because, eh, I'm human. I make mistakes too, right? You know, don't get too cocky thinking we know this stuff. So that's how that goes. So hubby just reminded me, it's like, oh my gosh, that their birthday, I, I mean, I knew, you know how you know something, but it doesn't always sink in, you know what I'm getting at? It's kind of like people who are like, oh, Christmas snuck up on me. Well, you know, it's the 25th every year, right? It's 25th of December every single year, but somehow it still sneaks up. That's how their birthday is. So I've got my hubby and granddaughter is the, just the first few days of December. And then our middle son is right after that. And then, you know, I mean, we've we got a lot. So he requested that I work on her sweater and I am doing her sweater with this yarn. No, this 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 thing has been in this bag and it's seen better life. But this is discontinued again, second run. Big twist, go figure. We know I like the Joanne Big Twist. It's my favorite big box store economy-based yarn. It just is, you know. I think we all have our favorites, whatever they happen to be. This one's mine. Easy access. And I feel like I can go in there and um use their coupons and everything else. And I feel like I get a lot of yarn. And even on days where I don't really want to, you know, spend a lot of money, I can go in there and come out in $10 and, and have enough to make a good size project. It's amazing. So 
This is the Big Twist Party Yarn. And again, they've had two runs of it with different colorways. Will they have a new run of it this coming year? I, I don't know, but they've had it for two years in a row. So they must have done some sales that made it worthwhile. And I collected yarn colors from both runs because they had different colors. So this one's called the Bubble Tea and it's a 100% acrylic yarn. I think this is my, I, I made two sweaters, completed them. I've got my sister's sweaters using this yarn and then her, my granddaughter's sweaters using this yarn. So I've used it a bit. It's a worsted weight yarn. 240 yards for the 100 grams and 100% acrylic. All right, fun. So the bubble tea is the green and then it's raspberry and I don't have the, uh, the ball band. It's raspberry something for the, the pink portion. So this sweater is another one of my first. It's not done, but I am working on it and I am now to the easy part. This is all over. You're like, that looks weird. I know because it's going to be the, the hood. It's a hooded sweater. So this is all over color work, which I have never done before. I've been doing a lot of color work hats and thoroughly enjoying them. But this is the first time doing a garment that just has that pattern. This stitch pattern I got as like a, just a portion of a cowl that I made earlier in the year. Uh, it's just, you know, like that much of the cowl, not the full cowl, not the full whatever, but just that much. And that's what I'm getting at on, if you find a graph you enjoy, you can knit it, you can crochet it, you can weave it, doesn't really matter. You can take a pattern that you have and has lots of graphs in it and you're like, I'm not doing all that. Take the part you like. I like this one. This is just a small portion of that all over with those two colors. The front and the back. I mean, that it, I'm really impressed to have gotten that done. And the hood is going to be all the pink right there. So I don't have any more color work. And the hood is a shaped hood. And I've got uh, between these two markers, right? So I increased right through here. Oh, okay, there you go. You can see that line. Yeah. So I did some increases there. And uh, so what that does is it gives that back curvature of the head right here. And then I'm going up straight and then I'll decrease again for the top. And it just gives more of an ana ana anatomically correct hood shape. Yeah, that's the word. So it looks a little wonky right now. I mean, it kind of looks like a over overdone collar at the moment. I decided not to do any buttons. They don't use the buttons anyway. So no buttons, no buttonholes, no excuses to not get it finished. Once I'm done, I'm done. And the last time I picked it up, I already sewed together the holes at the underarm where I, you know, where I join it and everything. Those are live stitches. So I did all that. I might have maybe two, three ends at most to weave in once I finish the hood. Yeah. So this is going to be done relatively quickly. Now, I started this off with the idea, and it was <laughs> it was a 100%, hey, I'm going to make a wonderful wallaby, which I've done this pattern for the kids more than once. I mean, it's really cute. It's, a, it's an adorable little pattern. Uh, you know, so I immediately grabbed the yarn, cast on. So you do your sleeves, you do your bottom and everything you have it separate and then you attach the sleeves and finish the raglan so i cast on and then i changed everything as you can see i decided i don't need the front pouch i did full color work well that's just stocking it in one color right i'm doing color work everywhere so there's definitely changes as far as that goes uh didn't do any buttons i think i followed the guide somewhat yeah somewhat on the numbers of stitches, but that's it. Everything else is my own, you know, what, what came to my mind, what I decided to do. Even the hood isn't exactly like it is in the pattern, but it's a great guide because you know what? Patterns are suggestions. And that's a wonderful one to use as a template. There's quite a few patterns that I've used for knitting as templates for other patterns and designs. Uh, brick is one. You can look that up on Ravelry. It's a free pattern. I've used that one multiple times. And then I'll, it, 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 I just use it as a vanilla template and then put in my own patterns or my own whatever. 
uh, Tin Can Knits has some beautiful, beautiful knitwear designs that are easily accessible to beginner knitters that are making garments all the way to massively experienced. And they're fabulous, fantastic templates and lots and lots of sizes. I mean, it's a full garment. But what I'm saying is once you get the hang of making one, you can do anything you want with it after that. I mean, you can add whatever you want to add, make it as complicated or as simple as you want it to be. Uh, this I get to put in as another one of my year of firsts. Uh, this year I did a lot of first things. Um, it was it was a lot of fun, really working with the color work, doing something like this. Fabulous on the first, as far as that goes. Um, I've worked with uh, like that mohair lace, didn't finish project yet, but I definitely worked with it. That was fun. Did some brioche this year. That was a lot of fun. I mean, just a lot of things of expanding my creative skills. Now, I, I, I have to admit, some things I like better than others. That That's to be understood. But the fun part is take the opportunity, take the chance, try it. Like I've, t I've done tatting before too, when I was a lot younger. Um, was I really superb at it? Not really. I mean, but I did it. Why? Because I wanted to say I could. That That's 100% it. it. It's, yeah, it's got the little shuttle and, and crochet thread. And you know, I'm like, you can't beat me. I did it. I was able to accomplish it. Did I make any large pieces? No, but I got the stitches and I played with it. And I think that's absolutely wonderful. It's the same with brioche. Have I done a lot with brioche? No, but I, I made a, a cowl I gave away. And then this year I did a hat. I took another class because I, I have to really pay attention to it. And I guess I have done brioche beyond that um, in some things because I did uh, a couple of the uh, Stephen West shawls that have brioche, the brioche simple stitch in it. And I don't find that difficult at all. So I thought that was pretty nice. But again, it's skill building techniques. And I find that absolutely just spectacular. We don't have to like everything. I, I definitely don't. But it was really cool to be able to say, I did that. That's neat. And then, you know, before this one, this sweater, and it still fits her. Yes, the grandkids were over earlier. I did put it on her. It does fit. And I've gotten, you know, more of the Hood done since when she tried it on but it does fit and that was a concern because I have taken so long and evidently I've been very lax in finishing said hooded sweater um, but before doing this one the most color work I've done on a sweater is the yoke this part up here and I did a sweater for myself with that um, I've done uh, two sweaters like that with the the big yoke um patterning right there on that round part of the neck and thought those were fabulous and right after doing those I'm like I had to start this I just had to uh I just it just struck me when I cast on um would it have been done sooner had I not tried to be so extra maybe it, it, it could have right I can't even guarantee that because there are some patterns that I've worked on that have no rhyme or reason as to why they get shoved and pushed aside um, this one got pushed aside a couple times because I made some mistakes. I, I mean, when I put this on and it was over so many stitches, I, I couldn't leave it. You, you just can't. It, it's, it's going to force, you know, that much over, it's going to make a difference. So I couldn't leave it. I had to back it out. Then I didn't want to touch it. Right. You know what I mean? It's an excuse, right? It's an excuse because let's face it. You've been around for a day or two. I do knitting. I do crocheting. I make things. I don't finish everything. I finish a lot. Um, so what's the difference? You know, why didn't I just continue on with this? Oh yeah, because it irritated me and I put it in time out. That's why. And then worked on other things that didn't irritate me. Um, I mean, I, I think we're human. We do those types of things. So I'm actually really happy that my husband pushed me into doing this so then I can get this done for her. And then I'm going to have to work on his sweater too. His sweater definitely irritated me. Um, I'm working on the third sleeve for his sweater. The sleeve was fine. The sleeve was perfect. This is the sleeve. I'm pulling it out right now. But this is the sleeve that we decided that wasn't good for his sweater. 
and it was because of the flashing and the pooling. There's nothing wrong with it. It just didn't match the aesthetic of the rest of the sweater. So uh, for the other sleeves, what I've done is I've used two skeins and I'm alternating every row with the skeins and it's making a huge difference, but it does mean that I've had to make three sleeves. And I'm not done with a third sleeve because I'm a little irritated at the sleeve, right? I know that's really petty, and I know that doesn't make sense to normal sane people, but um, I think uh, a lot of us crafters, we have that gene where we we understand. We, we, we get it. We understand. So his has been in timeout for way too long, um, and I know this because I did pick it up the other day, and I tried to put a couple of rounds on it, and I really had to pay attention to what I was doing and trying to figure out where I was. That tells me that it's been in timeout for way too long. My saving grace is I do stuff like this. You can see this pink thread right here. That's my marker. Each time that it loops in is where I've, yeah, where I've increased, right? I've increased. And I have that on all three of the sleeves. Now, I mean, obviously I'm pulling this one out, but it's just as an example. So that helps me to when I'm picking up the one that's done and I'm trying to make that other one, the third one, match. I know I'm going to because I have both together and I know I'm counting with those. I know how many increases I've made. And that way I can make it more of an exact, right? Since I didn't do them both at the same time. Yeah, eh, it's okay. It is okay. Sometimes we have to walk away from our stuff for a little bit, but I think it's time for me to come back, be an adult, and get my things done. That, and I just realized, oh my gosh, it is December, and there are a lot of things I would like to get finished prior to Christmas. Do I have to? Not really. Do I want to? Will it make me happy in being able to give those things away and to share them? Yes. Yes, it will. And then I always add more to it. Um, yeah. Like, like wanting to bring hats into my office. Now, my saving grace on that is, of course, I don't have to, but I'm going to. And I do have a lot of hats. I have hats that I've done in this last couple of weeks and everything. And then in this bin right here, it's just like this one, right? Um, I do have hats that I made last year that I still have around. So I can take in a plethora of whatever I have and give away what I've got. You know, the people in my office will either take one and be happy with it or decide, yeah, I'm not going to wear that. So no, I think I'll put that rule out. That's what I've done with my family is, yes, I would love to give you a hat. If you really aren't going to wear it, let somebody else take it, right? You, you know how that goes. If you're, if you're going to just take it to be nice, don't, don't, don't do that. Just if you enjoy it and it's something you would like, by all means, please, I would love to give one to you. Yeah, that, that's, I think that's pretty fair. And I suspect there will be some people in my office that won't be interested and that's okay too. Um, save it for the person that would appreciate it and be thankful, right? Don't we know that on a lot of our crafting stuff? Not everybody loves our stuff as much as we do. It's a beautiful way to put it. Find the people that do love your stuff and they do appreciate it and enjoy giving it to them. That That's that's how that works. Some people just don't get all the time and effort that goes into it, or they might get the time and effort. And it's just not their style. It's just not something they're going to use. It's just not something that they're going to love and appreciate. That's okay. Just give it to somebody who does. It's, it's not something to hurt your feelings over. Um, know the people and plan accordingly, right? Because who wants to be disappointed with somebody going, oh, thanks, whatever. No, no, uh-uh, no. We put love into this. We put love into this. You must feel the love. Feel the love. Feel the love, right? That's how that goes. <laughs> Aggressive love. <laughs> So there is to it on that one. I know, a little creepy. I know. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I can be a tent sometimes. I can. It's true. So that's what I'm working on. So thrilled my husband pushed me to this. I just didn't want to touch it. And it didn't dawn on me as to what day it is. Oh my gosh, what day it is. So it will be done soon. It will be done soon. Look at that. It's like a little pinhead can fit in it right now. Like one of those little cartoon hats. Oh, shrunken head. That's it. That's it. That's what it looks like. A little big sweater and a little shrunken head. 
but uh, it'll be, it'll, it'll fit her. It'll be perfect. It will be perfect. My mind. Uh-huh. Um, I guess this is going on with, uh, this week, some moments of success because we, I was able to give a two-year-old granddaughter her dress and it fit her perfectly. And this one fits my soon to be nine-year-old granddaughter quite well, has some growing room on, on it, which good. You know, I would like it to fit her more than a month being that, you know, it's taken me more than a month to finally get around to finishing it. Uh, yeah. So it's going to be wonderful. All right, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. You guys have a great day, night, evening, whatever it happens to be. Oh, like, and subscribe. If you're not liked and subscribed, uh, evidently YouTube loves that. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>